scientists are lucky to have a super powerful source of electricity, lightning. However, it's a very vast and dangerous source to harvest. Nevertheless, they have made a giant leap in research of electrical events using quite primitive devices, such as the spinning circle of surfer, also called Leyden jar. The man who has contributed the most happened to be an anatomist named Galvani. Hello and welcome to our BSM Experimentarium. My name is Tatiana. And my name is Slava and we are going to present you a few experiments connected to the electricity. <laughs> the discovery of Galvani turned out to be a quite incidental chain of events. At the time his wife was ill, the doctor's ingenious prescription was a soup made from frog's legs. Galvani was personally cooking the soup, and one day he touched the open nerves of the freshly peeled frog with a metal object. This made the muscle stress and contract immediately, and this caught his attention. He found it curious that a dead body could still perform muscle actions. Alessandro Volta is an Italian physicist who took the studies of Galvani and came to different conclusions regarding the matter. He pointed out that if you put two different metal objects inside the acid, this could produce an electrical charge. It is necessary to consider that scientific progress was not considered in the area of metal properties at the time. However, he brought a new era in physics. They affected technological progress in a beneficial way, and after some time, scientists discovered new electrical charges, including the so-called Galvani potential. This episode is going to cover the laws introduced by Volta, as well as create interesting uh, electrical charges using various and unusual elements. Uh, what do you perceive is going to be foundation of these devices? We'll make it clear for you now. We're about of using metals in combination with potatoes, carrots, oranges, and uh, fabric conditioner. And we are going to use even dirt. Let's dig into it. Take a look at the light indicator. It only lights up when the electrical charge is going in one direction. You can also observe that one of the metal pieces is longer than the other. The longer piece carries positive electrical charge. Now it's time to check out the electrode. Right now we're going to work with the metals called copper. Now it's time to prepare our own source of energy from anything you like. Now it's time to check out the electrode. And today we're going to use such metals as copper. Regular, tea has acids within its molecular structure that could fit perfectly in the concept of our energy source. If we put the tea into three cups and have pairs of metal conductors with various metals connected together, we can get a source of energy and can light up our indicator slightly. Not a big deal, but will pretty intriguing for a start. Moreover, if we add some lemon juice into the tea, the light will be more intense, but last for a shorter while. Well, as you can see, it's working. Now we are going to switch from tea to juice. And finally, it's working again. Now we take oranges or lemons. We carefully need to split them in half. So we get the arrows to connect to the metal conductors. When this is ready, it's time to plug in the digital clock and enjoy the show. Both of the sources include acids. Now we will use the potatoes. Let's see if we succeed this time. For this experiment, we will try to supply power to the digital clock with the help of bleach. We have two containers that need to be filled up with bleach and the metal conductors attached to them. Now you can see our watch is working with the power of bleach. The fancy model of an electrical tower is about to be powered up with table vinegar. 
The containers that are connected to each other appear to look like a crown. At least that is what Alessandro Volta referred to them when he pioneered the experiment. The electrical tower is a light. These are potatoes and these are carrots. They can be a perfect energy source for our clock. There is always space for some sound, isn't there? So here we have a sound generation tip. Let's put it into a glass to amplify the sound. Oh my, what a marvelous tune, like a bird song. I love it. Our source of energy this time is going to be pure dirt. Our experiment is complete. And now, when we are through this amazing experiment and we have received the fantastic results, we can proudly state that the science is amazing. Let's wish to our young science participants some luck, interesting discoveries and fun with their future research. <laughs>